Hey, what's going on guys? It is I, Tetra, and today we're going to be taking another look into Project Cold War with a specific focus on the Akira. Now this game is in closed alpha, so the content's not final, work in progress, things are subject to change when the game does officially release. So just bear that in mind. Now, to the Akira. So the Akira is one of the attacker heroes, or agents rather, and I have found a lot of success with this vehicle. It has recently gotten buffed. Uh, I like to play this thing a little bit more out in the flanks, uh, but I'll talk about that more when I get to the gameplay. For now, let's look at some stats. So we've got Bullseye, which is basically three crits gives you a 30 second uh, boosted like accuracy or just your next two shots. The autoloader overheat. So this gun works in a very unique way. Uh, it's quite it's quite different to anything else in this game. The way that it works is each shot you take uh, basically adds heat to a heat bar. And when your heat bar maxes out, you have to go on a long cooldown, which is 20 seconds. So do try to manage this while you're playing this vehicle. Otherwise, uh, you can get stuck where you just can't really do anything. And that doesn't feel great. Next, we have the automatic defense turret, which is this little guy on the top. And as you can see in this little video, it just basically attacks a target. Uh, it attacks the last target you did damage to. So you either need to shoot it or ram it to get this thing to activate. But when you do, it'll start pecking away at them. Lastly, just some smoke grenades, allowing you to get out of some bad situations. Now for my specific build. So with regards to the upgrades in slot one, we have crit multiplier and shell speed in slot two. We've got an emergency cooldown reduction, so when you do overheat that gun, it just uh, comes back a little bit sooner. And then a increase to, or sorry, rather a slow effect is applied when you crit a vehicle for four seconds. Uh, just to clarify, a slow effect applied to them, not you. That'd be pretty bad. Uh, in slot three here, we've got a improvement to the gun handling and a 15% increase to crit damage when you're fighting within 200 meters, which I'd say is about the optimal range for this vehicle. Um, we've got some mobility increases in slot 4. This re vehicle's reverse speed is quite bad, so you do want to keep that in mind when you're potentially diving into the action. In slot 5, we've got more increases to the crit multiplier and module damage. For those of you who don't know, um, modules have health. So if you're shooting at an ammo rack or an engine, you need to deal enough damage to destroy it. And that's what allows you to get those crits. So when you do see module damage, just keep that in mind. If you're not getting crits consistently, this may be the reason. In slot 6, we've got more damage and an increase to pen power. In slot 7, we've got a reduction to the magazine loading time. The Akira's gun fires every one second and adds heat to the bar. So this reduces that to 0 0.85 seconds, which is a nice little boost. It also helps with your cooldown delay. And when you crit vehicles, it reduces the amount of heat added to the gun by 25% for eight seconds. So if you can chain those crits together, you can get a basically just 25% more shells out. Um, and then in slot eight, we've got a boost to damage and module damage once more. In slot 9, further cooldown reduction. And in slot 10, the exciting slot for all agents, we have an increase to our cooldown intensity as well as an addition of 33% heat. So just bear in mind while playing this vehicle, if you've got it up to this point, when you first get this upgrade, you might not be used to how many shots you can fire before you go on cooldown. You really want to try and manage that. Uh, we've got a increase to the crit multiplier as well as a further increase to the crit damage uh, while the gun is over a third capacity with regards to its heat. For the perks on this vehicle, I've gone with run and gun to improve the gun handling just that bit more. I do find the Akira's gun handling to actually be exceptional, so this is a, definitely a strong suit. And lastly, more gun handling um, and upping that aiming time just so you can react to situations a bit faster. I don't have any additional uh, consumables on this vehicle. And in the last slot, I've personally not cho chosen anything, but if I did, I'd probably take the medical training just to reduce the silence time. So when you need to heal, you can. Okay, well, that is my stat run through for the Akira. I hope you guys found that helpful. I'm gonna follow this up with a little bit of gameplay. And yeah, if you're enjoying so far, maybe consider subscribing and leaving a like. Helps a ton, guys. Thanks, eh? Okay, so we're loading into our first match here. This is a domination match where we're going to be contesting... I believe that's the C... yeah, C point. So in this mode, I uh, definitely want to just try and snipe. My 
don't know what's going on here. Uh, my role with this vehicle is, well, I like to be aggressive with it, but also I, I find that the Akira does very, very well at just playing ever so slightly on a flank. So if you can be in a position where, you know, you don't have the main focus of the enemy team and you just get to, to keep this gun, well, figuratively and literally hot, uh, it can really just start to tear people apart. We've got an HSTVL over there, I think, rushing into the cap. Give that one a proper welcome. So you'll see here, we've got a Jaeger coming in. Nice a ammo. Okay, he's defense. down. But you can see how rapidly this gun just starts, uh, well, clicking away at things. So we've got the can. Might be able to get an ammo rack there just under the turret. Nice. Uh, we've also got another can coming in. See if we can't find that same ammo rack. Not quite. Ah, okay. I've overheated my gun. So now you see this uh, this little bar over here. You can see that uh, I have to now wait for that to come down, and then the red bar will slowly decrease. And when it gets to about there, I can start shooting again. But uh, until then, I'll just twiddle my thumbs and uh, wiggle around a little bit. Okay. So yeah, I think uh, for me in this mode, I pretty much just want to sit at an angle here and let my team be in that cap and then put in the fire support where I can. Their track took a beating. I am not paying anywhere near enough attention to my heat. I just keep on overheating the system. But that's alright. <laughs> you can see all the little shells rolling down the hill. Nice little attention to detail over there. Okay, well, we're going to finish off that cant as soon as this gun allows. Ammo. For peace. We can get another ammo shot here, but I really do want to make sure I'm not maxing this thing out. One more, and we can go home. Okay, yeah, one more and he should... Oh, okay. No, he's not quite as low as I thought. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like it might be more valuable to help out against that shot. If we can get those back to crits, which unfortunately we don't manage to make. Okay, we can't shooting back, so... There we are. So you'll notice that we can play where the gun gets onto just the edge of that heat, but we don't let it get 100%. That way, we can keep it uh, nice Got and easy to well, do gross things like that. Uh, we got our improved accuracy buff, and that is the, the trait that I talked about. Must have really hurt. Oh, he stopped there. I wasn't expecting that. One more, and, we can go and I forgot to look at the gun again. What is it about me and shooting at Kents and just wanting to make them dead? Okay, we're getting we're getting quite low, so I would say now is definitely the the time to just pull back, get that heal off, wait for the gun to cool down, and continue just waiting for them to, uh, well, keep on contesting this cap. We've got our heal up, guns busy cooling. I want to support against that Abrams if I can, or chopper rather. Mm, can't really get any shots at this angle. I wonder if I can get an ammo. No. Okay, well, we've got another sneaky breaky can coming in, so. Their track took a beating. But you can see the accuracy and gun handling on this vehicle is just exceptional. And it really does excel with this kind of medium range roll. A moment of silence for their guns, please. Yeah, this thing's pretty gross, guys. Um, damage output it can do is just. It's just kind of ridiculous. Feels so good. Not to oh, yes. Once again, I can't make me overheat my gun. I thought I could get the kill there, but I didn't quite manage it. Hmm. Okay, I'm actually going to move up to a slightly different location. Basically get even more... Oh, that's the chopper. We've got a, a gunship on us. Okay, 
get nice. Looks like you're on a roll, agent. Saber to all units, we've gained the upper hand. Exploit their vulnerabilities and make every shot count. Over. I want to wait here for just a sec. There we are. Now we don't overheat the gun, you see. Perfect. Oh, that chopper is very much looking at us. I think he's starting to get upset about what we're doing to his team. But, uh, I mean, hey, as long as they're driving in front of me, I'm going to be shooting them. And this is what I mean by getting to, to play that kind of flanking role. Now we might be able to get a back turret ammo rack. I'm not actually 100% sure where it is on the end. One more mm, there it is. Okay, well, I'm, I'm definitely dead. And I think I upset the HSTVR. I think he's he's not a happy boy now. Maybe we can ping and get some help from our team. But we'll, we'll have to see. Oh, he's on reload. He's very much on reload. And that's the game. So yeah, that one was quite easy. And uh, I know that wasn't the most exciting gameplay. I kind of just got to, to sit and farm. But I mean... Isn't that what you want to achieve? You just kind of want to get into those good positions and uh, work down the enemy. So, yep, that's our first game in the Akira, and I will be bringing you right back for another one. Okay, well, we are loading into our second match here. This is a conquest, so we need to contest the cap points and just try and hold out for those 25-point ticks. So, on this map, honestly... I can play this in so many different ways. I can play for A and try and snipe down from there. I can play from C and try and snipe down from there. And I can just play aggressively and try and get in and out of these cap circles and just kind of harass people. As an attacker, I would say it's important that you keep yourself relatively mobile. Um, not all attackers are great at range. So being able to kind of get into the nitty gritty of it and just work those people down while trying to be a secondary priority it can just be very very powerful um, that was uh, phantom doing phantom things if I just hide here like I can't really do anything but I need to I need to be anticipating those who are going to push up He has fired all of his shots at me, so he's going to be on a short reload here. And I can hear a lot of chaos going on behind, oh, below me, rather. Don't know if I'll be able to maybe help out with some of that. Hmm. Yeah, so maybe what we can do here... Oh, we've got somebody in the cap. We've got two in the cap. So this Rakette is low, and for that reason we're going to try and prioritize him. And then we just want to get out of that Reaper's way. I'm going to try to use my heal here, because it looks like this Reaper's backing off, so I can take a sec to just regen that HP. And then we're just going to go and hunt him. Let's, uh, let's do what attackers do and attack. And if I get that rear turret for that juicy right ammo rack. So. Yep. Another rear turret, maybe? Maybe we just have to go for the engine here. Uh, just want to wait for the gun to cool down a little bit. There we are. I'm a jolly giant. We've got another Akira. Oh, okay. We're, we're, we may be a bit deep, boys. I don't think this is going to go our way. Their track took a beating. Ah, uh, but he doesn't know how to manage his gun. You see, the power. Same for this Kent. Nice. Now, I want to get back up and try and get a respite here because I expect that all hell is about to come from this cap. So yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna really try and get out. Okay, managing to avoid a little bit of damage here. Now, maybe I don't have to go all the way back up to the cap. Maybe I can just, uh put in some fire support from, from right here. And, uh... Okay. Mm, I think... I, I don't want to let them get this, this cap point, so I'm gonna... 
unfortunately stop helping that ally and just try and prevent whatever is going on here. Their engine is dead. This is a man's game. Cool. Yeah, so we can we can get this cap point back. Yeah, I've definitely warmed up with this vehicle a little bit now, just trying to really make sure that gun never overheats. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to find an angle. I don't want to fall off this hill. I made that mistake a few times. Um, maybe... No. Okay. I just... I don't think it's going to happen. Um... So the people on B again. Another one down, dozens to go. Just trying to get the gun depression here. Oh, this is getting sketch. Hmm. Okay. Up. Oh. Gonna use my auto turret. And just Commander, try and get those engine clear. shots. You must be the first to capture the base after the airstrike. Out. Not even a scratch. Our colors paint the map. Nice. They had it coming. Impressive kills. Okay, well Commander. this uh the Sakura is very aware of the surroundings. Hmm. Flaming hot. There are sting dog. Took a heavy hit. Okay, we don't manage to finish that guy off. Planted our flag. Oh no, we did. Ah, the trusty auto turret. Uh, okay, let's give some fire support over this way. Stick around, huh? Got the grill on, boys. Okay, let's try and get those guns cooling off. Nice. Another one going up. We're gonna go for the Udenikir because we know we can get those ammo racks. That being said. He is. Hmm. Okay, I need to let the gun cool. And we don't have clear shots because of that smoke screen. Knocked out their engine. Okay. Beautiful. And that is another Your nice easy victory. So hopefully these two short matches have shown you a idea of how to potentially play the Akira. I really like to play this vehicle as a support, but I like to be very close in on the action. I don't want to be sniping at super far ranges, you know, unless they're just free shots but ultimately you know trying to keep it a bit more close and personal so i hope you found this helpful uh don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one thanks guys